following tables represent a direct variation relationship? If yes, give the constant of variation and the equation to represent the data. So since I know that I'm interested in a direct variation relationship, I'm going to use y equals kx. Now, what I'm going to do is, in order for there to be a direct variation relationship, the k for each of these values should be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by x. x is cancel, and I'm left with y over x equals k. Now, if I take the y and divide by x each time, and the k value that I get is the same, that means I have a direct variation. If not, then that means I don't have a direct variation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Over here, 10 is my y value. Over here, x is 1. That reduces to 10. Now, what I'm interested in is that the other two values will come up to be 10 also. So now, I'm going to do 9, which is y, over 4. Well, this one doesn't reduce down to 10. And if I do the second one, 8 over 7, it also doesn't reduce down to 10. All these values here, my y over x values, are different. So this is not a direct variation. And since it's not a direct variation, I am not going to look for k, and I am not going to write an equation. Now, this set of values, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to see if I have a direct variation relationship. So again, I'm going to use y over x and find a k value. So y is 3, x is 9, that reduces down to 1 third. y is 4, x is 12, which also reduces down to 1 third. So far it looks like I have a direct variation relationship, so I'm going to do it again since I'm given three sets of values, three sets to do it for each of the coordinates. So here, y is 5, x is 15. This reduces down to one third. Since all these values are the same, I do have a direct variation relationship, and therefore I can find my constant of variation, which is my k value. So in this k, k equals one third. And then I can find the equation to represent the data, which is going to be y equals one third x.